People are really terrified of the Snake Eyes. They've got them jumping at their own shadows. They may be Lord Danabelt's lackeys, but for all intents and purposes, it's the Snake Eyes who control the realm. One wrong look, and your history. So Zephyr's being moved to Sisladen. Let's cross our fingers we catch up with them on the way. I mean, the plan was always for me to take you guys to Sisloden anyway. But a word of advice. Oh? There's a forest we have to pass through on our way there. I won't lie to you. It'll be dangerous. More Zugals? Wild ones at that. They hunt in packs led by the biggest, meanest one. My friends and I got cornered by one on our way to Calaglia. That's how we got split up. We'll just have to keep our wits about us, then. Alright, I don't see no more side quests for now, so... What level she on? She right behind me, 16. The forest we're about to walk through is pretty dangerous. Let's make sure we're prepared before we go further. Okie dokie. Rinwell, if you get injured, just let Shion know, okay? <sighs> I only have one pair of hands, you know. <sighs> Rimmel, you cook, girl? Yep, she do. If I ain't got no more stuff, the only thing she can cook is this. I'd rather have this. All done. Come and eat. Sometimes the R uh sometimes RPG uh games don't work like that. Sometimes um they 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 be a uh, certain characters are locked at certain levels when you get them. So I was surprised that she's on 16, because usually they don't usually do that. Usually, sometimes like the lock level would be probably like, you know, if you're grinding like a little further back. But that's good that she's with us, though. Talk to someone before you go to sleep. Let's talk to her in the wheel before you go to sleep. I can't talk to her. Well, I gotta talk to she on there. Could we talk a moment? And here I was thinking I could get some rest. Is something the matter? The matter? No, no, nothing like that. And if it's all the same to you, I'll be going to sleep, thanks. Is chatting with me really that much of a drag? I just don't get the point, that's all. Is there some pressing reason why we have to talk right now? I don't know, I just... I think we should all make an effort to get to know one another. What if there's an emergency? An emergency? What if one of us suddenly got sick? Then I'd cure them with my healing arts and we'd move on. That's easy for you to say. But for the person doing the asking, it may not be so easy to approach you. If they can't work up the courage to approach me, that's their problem. Unless you're suggesting I refuse to heal someone for the fun of it. I didn't say that. So what then? Quit beating around the bush and just tell me. Look, what I'm trying to say is... If we're going to be traveling together, it makes more sense to do it as companions, rather than being at each other's throats the whole time. I still don't get it. <sighs> but I do understand that whatever it is, it obviously must mean a lot to you. I'm not trying to make things more difficult for you just for the sake of it. So, I'll make more of an effort to talk every now and then, even when we don't have to. Happy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. Then if you don't mind, I'm going to get some sleep. 
Have a good night. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't get it, huh? I think it's time we go to sleep. Let's do that. How long do you plan on just sitting around doing nothing, Alfin? Because it looks to me like you're taking your sweet time getting ready. I'm not procrastinating, if that's what you're implying. Oh? Sure looks like it to me. You had me worried you'd forgotten our mission. Again. I know, I know. You don't need to keep reminding me. Hey, Alfin. I'm already over here. R right. Thanks for letting me know. I saw you talking with that Bright Eyes before Lights Out last night. Mind telling me what you two discussed? Nothing in particular. I just figured that maybe she would open up a little if I tried talking to her. What? Her? She's a Renin. I know we're working with her, but that doesn't mean we have to play nice with her. Look, we're all going to be traveling together for a while. It's only going to make things harder if we're at each other's throats. If all we do is bark orders at each other instead of working together, that's not much different than how it is for the rest of us. I think it's important that we all understand each other and work together as equals, if it's at all possible. Do we, though? <sighs> because I sure don't get the feeling she means to do the same. <sighs> as soon as Zephyr disappears, all hell breaks loose. We can't get anything done if things stay tense like this. But what the hell am I supposed to do? Well, I guess I'll just have to keep hammering away at them and see how it goes. Get done eventually. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. Bro, where you come from? Man, you sound the same stuff. You following me? Poor Alvin caught between two difficult females. Yeah. So this is the forest teaming with Zoogles you warned us about. No sign of Zephyr, though. Which means either they had the skills to make it through safely, or were too late, and the strays got to them first. Do you say every thought out loud? Just the true ones. Are we moving or what? Uh, you cold, bro? It's snowing pretty hard in this area. Don't worry, Hoodle. It's okay. I can barely see enough to take two steps forward without bumping into something. Yeah. We'll have to be careful not to miss anything coming from off the path. This is nothing. When things get real bad around here, you can get lost without even realizing it. Oh, yeah? Bruh, they don't get sick? I'm gonna try to make this jump. Oh, man. I could easily see us getting lost here while we're trying to find Zephyr. I get this is supposed to connect the capital to the villages. But why has it got to be so winding? And not only that, why are there so many Zoogles walking around? I think they're used as lookouts. The Renans know how to control them. Complaining's not going to get us anywhere. Let's just get through this and be on our way. Chion, save him for hypothermia.
Thanks, Shion. Just doing what I can. Uh, okay. Don't worry, I'm take care of them. I'll take care of them. <laughs> What's wrong? Huh? I guess. Bro, who are you? Oh, it might be a boss fight up ahead. Oh yeah, how you figure it out? We've got company, and not the nice kind either. Rimwell, get back! And miss all the action? Who do you take me for? It's out of our way! It's a big target at least. Don't underestimate its speed. It's over! She said blah 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 magic, like... <laughs> That's how you cast moves around here? Blah 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 tornado. <laughs> Get on me. Whew, this dog. Now. 
Let's go. Switching up its movements. Watch out! Blade. Uh -huh. Here the Take it. Now the You're finished! More? More Zuko's? Keep calm and take them down! Swallow Blade! Uh -huh. Inferno Blade! It's about to strike! Glade. Come on! Look Here sharp, everyone! Let's go! You okay, Rinwell? I I'm fine. Oh, we got this. We good, y'all. Did all of this? I have no clue. Who was that guy? Do you think he could have been the lord we're looking for? Ganabelt? I doubt a lord would deign to roam around a place like this alone. Besides, what business would a Renan have with killing Zoogles? Now that I look at it, it was a good call staying out of his way, I think. Look at this. He took them out with a single slice. This guy's no amateur. <laughs> you okay? Oh, um, yeah. We should get going. Zephyr needs us. That knight back there sure wasn't messing around. If he's not a lord, what is he? I have no idea. I've never seen anybody like him. Well, he definitely doesn't seem to be a friend, that's for sure. Hopefully we don't run into him again.
There it is. Cisloden. What's with those beams of light? They don't strike me as your everyday streetlights. They're kind of the key to this whole realm. You'll see what I mean when we get there. Hmm. <laughs> What's on your mind? First, Rinwell appears out of nowhere, right after we beat Balsef. Then, we bump into Zephyr's son, who's with the enemy. Somehow, we get away scot-free because the Snake Eyes don't even bother chasing after us. Is it really a coincidence? You think it was a trap? W what But I would never... If not for the whole Astral Arts episode, I'd be worried. But no, she's not behind this. Perhaps an unwitting pawn in someone else's plan. <sighs> what? All this to capture Zephyr? Maybe. All I know is it all slots together a little too nicely for my liking. Not that dwelling on it'll get us anywhere. Trap or otherwise, we've got a lord to defeat. So how do we get inside? What? Well, we can't just march into the Viper's Nest through the front door, surely. There's a secret passage near a spring on the outskirts of the city. We can get in through there. I hate camping out. I think he's saying something's over there. Friends, Hoodle? What's going on? Why did the weather change all of a sudden? The snow's gone, and it doesn't even feel cold anymore. Just what's going on? What is this place? I see something hmm. big farther in. Is that a Zookum? No, an owl? <laughs> Hoodle doesn't seem too wary, so it's probably not hostile. Let's go see what's up then. Stay sharp. Midnight Battle Guard. Okay. I don't get it. Why has it suddenly started giving us things? Hey, is that owl beckoning us over? I think it is. It's the owl we rescued before. Then maybe that's what the gifts are all about. It's thanking us for saving its friend. <laughs> This one isn't just bigger than Hoodle, though. Something about it seems almost regal, don't you think? What if it was the king of the owls? Would that make the other one the queen? You think so? Yes, they're clearly a pair. Is this some kind of owl sanctuary? It's such a big place, though. I wonder if those two were living here all alone until we rescued that owl. I thought no other owls existed, but here they are. And a king and queen by the looks of them. You never know what other ones might be out there until we look for them. It's not like you were searching the whole world over yourself, right, Rinwell? That's... well, I mean, yeah. I guess you've got a point. Hey, Hoodle! How about we find more of your friends and tell them about this place? It can be a little side mission on our trip, if that's okay. It's fine with me. We'll find as many as we can. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh. Rinwell? It's nothing. Don't mind me. Ready to move on? Birdie bestie. I mean, since he gave it to us, right? I think Hudo senses an owl around here. It's one right here, ain't it? So the guys we saw back in Messiah were snake eyes. And your group fighting them is... The Silver Swords. Heck, we even have members working within the snake eyes gathering intel for us. Sounds like it involves a lot of double crossing. It does. But it keeps us alive and one step ahead. Calaglia wouldn't have been liberated without those double agents. Oh, it is. I ain't even notice. Little help. Here I come. No. It's over. Eternal devastation. That's what I, I just learned that. Hurricane thrust. What is this? No, I'm learning every move right now. Not really built for close quarters combat. Nor am I. Don't worry. Yo. Looks like it could be worth something. Okay, I learned Hurricane Thrust. Okay, I need Mirage. Mirage, bring him down. So, I guess I have to let go of Stardust. I like that move. It's freaking cool, but... Or, I don't use Luna Rondo right that much. So maybe I can switch Londa Rudo Hurricane. Eternal devastation. I don't I can't even, even if I do put it in the in here, I can't do it. Well, maybe I can switch it out for Soul Rain. Let's do eternal devastation. I don't know which way to go. No choice. Take this. Oh, this come and face me. Seriously, you're finished. Get out of there with me. Come on. Play. 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 Here I come. that by a mile 
Wait, there are way too many snake eyes up ahead. Actually, that move is okay. Uh, let me see Dragon Swarm real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and play with the moves real, uh, just play with the moves. See which ones I like. Hi, Hoodle. Take it. Try harder. Got him. Here I come. Okay, I like that. Together, that wasn't even a problem. Facts. Rinwell. Hey, Rinwell. What are you doing here? If the snake eyes spot you here, they'll. So you did make it back alive. Man, am I glad to see you safe. Barely. When we all got separated, I thought. They're fine. They all got back in one piece. Well, a Zoogle took a bite out of two of our guys, but what matters is you're safe. So, you gonna introduce me? Meet Alfin and Xion. I brought them with me from Calaglia. You mean you made it to Calaglia? Wait, this is it? Just the two of them? Where's the rest? Well, it's kind of a long story. It's best if I fill everyone in at once. Your call, Rinwell. But everyone will be dying to know. We better get back as soon as we can. Use this passage whenever you need to go in or out of the city. Stay away from the front gate, whatever you do. How do the Renans not know about this secret route of yours? Sisloden's an old city. It's littered with pathways that people have long forgotten. But keep your voice down. We don't know how long this route will stay hidden. Man, oh, they're snitching. I think it's safe to rest here now. So this is Sicily, capital city of Sicilia. Be careful. You never know where Snake Eyes or their informants are lurking. We are basically walking into a Zoogle's den here. Oh, nah, people in here just snitching. There are shots here on a permit basis. As long as people don't get reported on and sent to work the floodlights, economic activity is allowed here. All this talk about reports and permits, 
This place really is different from Calaglia. Was this our right here? I see it. Hmm? You're saying we should check the owl forest? 